Cayuga, Indiana, February 16, 2019. Paranormal investigator Dave Spinks and his associate Haley Sharp have traveled here to this small town to investigate a house that many consider to be the most evil place in North America. Referred to as Willow's Weep, it has been the site of a series of gruesome deaths since it was built in the 19th century. Brenda Johnson owns Willow's Weep. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Dave. She dismissed the rumors about it being an evil place and purchased it only a few years ago with plans to renovate it. This is my assistant, Hi. Haley. It's nice to meet you. But recent events have convinced her that she may have made a terrible mistake. To this end, she's invited Dave and Haley to come and investigate the house and see if her strange experiences can be verified. So, how are you doing? <laughs> Not good standing here. <laughs> All night last night, I was sick thinking about coming over here around this house. So tell us a little bit about the house, some of your experiences here. Well, when I bought the house, we started working on it. And then my son was working on the ceiling. The boards come flying off at him and hurt him. And I've been scratched in there, six claw marks down my back, doors slamming on you, banging underneath the floors. I understand there's been deaths in this house. Can you kind of go through those a little bit? Yeah. The man that built the house, he died in the bathtub. There was two suicides and then another hanging. And I heard that three men had been poisoned. About six months prior before I bought it, there was a man that he committed suicide in there. He fell into the chair. And that's where they found him? Uh, they found him what, a couple days later, right? A week. A week? A week later, OK. Do you think what's in that house is evil? Yes, I do. Without yes, a doubt. Yes, I do, without a doubt. If it wasn't evil, it wouldn't be hurting people. I don't think there's nothing good in there. The house was built in the late 1800s, correct? 1890, yes. So regarding the shape of the house, it's in the shape of a, a cross. Upside down cross. Strange. Yes, very strange. Was Willow's Weep really built to attract evil spirits? For Brenda Johnson, Dave Spinks, and Haley Sharp, the answer is a very disturbing yes. But why would someone deliberately want to construct an evil place, unless perhaps it wasn't meant to attract demonic spirits, but to entrap them in an effort to create a deadly warning that demons are real?